my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. In today's video, we're doing another what's new in skincare. We have a lot to talk about in this video. I'm gonna try to cover everything that you guys have asked me about and get through the new holiday sets. Holiday sets, it's uh, September, right? So the last video we did focused a lot more on Sephora products. Let's go ahead and start this video at Target because a lot of you have asked me about this new brand, Versed, that Target is carrying. It is a drugstore clean skincare brand. Now I'm just looking at the ingredients for this. I've not tried any of these yet, but at this price point for these products, uh, I absolutely want to. These look incredible. So the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream, let's just start with that one. That is $14.99 for two ounces. The ingredients look beautiful. Nothing that I'm worried about in this, no potential irritants that I see. It's got squalane, aloe, green tea, jojoba, looks like a really nice formulation. Then we've got the Versed Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel. This is $17.99 for a half ounce. This looks gorgeous as well. It's got ginseng in it, coffee extract, sodium ascorbyl phosphate for your vitamin C, niacinamide. Then we have the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. This is $19.99 for one ounce. This looks like it's going to be great for clearing up acne. It's got salicylic, willow bark. And by the way, these all have excellent reviews so far. Granted, I don't think anybody's been using these products for too long since it's a fairly new brand, but good reviews so far. And then finally, the Shortcut Overnight Facial Peel. This is $19.99 for one ounce. This is the only one where I'm a little more hesitant just because I see that the AHAs are a little lower in the ingredients, but that can mean anything because one thing I wish this brand did was tell you the percentages, uh, you know, the way The Ordinary does. I really feel like The Ordinary kind of set a precedent so that now I'm just like, yeah, but I want to know these percentages. Can't you tell me? But overall, from what I've seen, it really does look like a great brand. I think they've done a great job keeping it clean keeping it free of potential allergens, which is the biggest problem by far that you run into when you get into cleaner skincare products. Then we're gonna go ahead over to the Ulta website, turn our skincare up to 11 and talk about the Florence by Mills brand. So this brand, like we were just talking about with Versed, is also a clean, cruelty-free drugstore brand. I'm telling you, this is the trend right now. And obviously, if you're not already aware, this is Millie Bobby Brown's line. I do not think for a second that she designed any of this. I think it's just more her, her name is on it. And to be honest with you, I gotta start, I gotta start by at least saying, if you know about the drama with her uh, not trying on the skincare for Instagram. I think it's so blown out of proportion. She's a kid, she's 15. Imagine if you were told by whoever your company is that you gotta make this video for Instagram. Talk about pressure. Anyway, I think that's an absolute non-issue, but focusing specifically on the ingredients here, there is a big difference between this brand and Versed. Whereas the first brand we were talking about, I was excited to say, you know, I, I don't see anything in here that could potentially be damaging to your skin. Here I do see some rather long ingredients list where you're gonna wanna make sure if you do have more sensitive skin that you don't have any, uh, that there are no ingredients in these products that could irritate your skin. And to go through a few of these products, we'll start with the Dreamy Dew Moisturizer. This is $14 for 1.7 ounces. And, you know, I think there's a lot of beautiful ingredients in here. I actually really like that there's, you know, cucumber, there's uh, willow bark extract, which I think is going to make this ideal for, uh, you know, teenagers that might have a little bit of acne going on. But then you also have to kind of watch out for the lemon extract, jasmine extract, orange peel. It just makes it fall a little short of being as easy for me to recommend as the first brand, but I think that I think it'll work for some people. I think if you don't have sensitive skin, you could be able to use these with absolutely no problem. Let's talk about the swimming under the eyes gel pads. These are really cute and that's been getting them a lot of attention. By the way, all of this is sold out right now on the Ulta website, but I'm sure 
it will be restocked. Anyway, these are $34 for 30 and they are shaped like little whales. Cute touch. That's a cute touch. Overall, I think these look less irritating than the moisturizer. I do think they're a little bit more on the pricey side, uh, but I do like them. You know, sodium hyaluronate in here, coconut extract. I wish I could tell you more about the Get That Grime face scrub. I feel like these, these scrubs always get the attention of, in particular, younger people. I think it's because, as somebody who used to enjoy these types of products myself, there's something very satisfying about using a physical scrub. There just really is. Uh, you know, and I think it's really important to make sure that it's gentle. The problem here is that even though I can look at these ingredients and see that it is a seed powder, I can't tell you how, you know, how harsh it is based off of that. I have tried some scrubs that are made of seed powder and it's been pretty finely ground, so it makes it a more gentle scrub as opposed to maybe a walnut scrub, but that's not a guarantee because I also tried a physical scrub once that was made of seed powder and those little pieces got stuck in my pores. I've talked about it a couple of times on this channel. That was not fun. So I'm actually most hesitant about this. I feel like most people probably are, to be fair. And then we have the One Swipe Glow Wipe Treatment Pads. These are $16 for 30. These actually do look kind of nice. Uh, glycolic acid is listed quite high. We've got willow bark in here. Witch hazel, unfortunately, a lot of citrus ingredients, but you know, again, you're gonna wanna be careful with this brand if you do have more sensitive skin. It's always that situation of just because something is green, just because something is clean, just because something is natural, it doesn't mean that it is going to work for your skin. But before I leave this brand, can we please comment on the makeup? I know I promised this video was about skincare, but just really quickly. On the day this brand released on the Ulta website, I didn't buy any of the skincare. Instead, I bought the makeup because I actually think the makeup looks amazing. And y'all know I usually do kind of more separate skincare and makeup videos, so I will talk about these products in a couple of days, but I am wearing all of them today. I just wanna bring your attention to the tint right now. This is the Like A Light Skin Tint. This has such a gorgeous ingredients list. It's why I wanted to make this purchase in the first place. We've got sunflower seed oil, hyaluronic acid, avocado oil, meadow foam oil, shea butter. It just red like it was going to be a very, very glowy, kind of moisturizer-like ingredients that made me think this is probably gonna be really nice on dry skin. It is really light. It is a skin tint, but it is gorgeous on the skin. There's nothing in here that I'm worried about. None of these irritants that I was talking about in the skincare. I mean, if you want to buy something from this brand, I think this is what to buy. And by the way, if you are uh, a parent or a grandparent and you're trying to look for makeup for younger people, that's not going to be too over the top this brand right here. It's really well made. One more product from the Ulta website before we move on. So Revolution is continuing to release new skincare and I'm actually really excited about what I just saw up here on the website. This is the Overnight Targeted Blemish Lotion. It is $14 for one ounce and it looks like it's gonna be a dupe for Mario Badescu's drying lotion. I'm very interested in trying this and comparing it. That's one of my holy grail items, one of my most repurchased skincare products. But this actually looks like it might even be a little better. As I told you guys in my haul video, I am planning to do a Revolution probably about a month from now. So if at any point from now through the next month you come up with a product and you'd like me to review it, from the Revolution Skincare line, please drop a comment in any video, let me know. So before we move over to the Sephora website, I do wanna share with you guys something else that I think fits into this video. This is a silk pillowcase, but it is by far the most affordable 100% mulberry silk pillowcase that I have ever seen. So this was sent to me by the brand My K Silk. This is the 22 Momi mulberry silk pillowcase and i got to admit i've heard a lot about silk pillowcases i know a lot of people a lot of you guys have asked me about silk pillowcases but i have not wanted to make an 80 dollars investment this pillowcase right here is only 30 dollars. what i like so much about this they say you know sleeping on a silk pillowcase as opposed to a cotton pillowcase the main benefit that i hear people talk about is the fact that cotton absorbs much more than silk does. So if you're going to bed with all of your skincare on your face, you might be laying on your pillow and your pillowcase is absorbing it. But when you lay your head 
on silk, it does not absorb as much, so you get more skincare benefits. And in addition to that, it gives your hair benefits, you get less breakage, but what I have personally noticed in these last couple of weeks sleeping on this is two main things. One is I really like the cooling feeling of it. It actually has, it holds a cooler temperature than my regular cotton pillowcases, but more than anything else, I wake up in the morning and I don't have those creases on my face. I know, at least some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. For the first, you know, hour of your day, you just have a couple creases on your face if you've been sleeping on a cotton pillowcase. And it's highly unfortunate when FedEx manages to time their delivery in that window. So you gotta go to the door kind of shielding your face because for whatever reason you have an express package that you didn't expect, you gotta sign for with a one hand thing. Do you all know what I'm talking about? I have so many awkward FedEx stories. I, it's FedEx, it's never UPS, it's never USPS, it is always FedEx who picks the most inappropriate times possible to come to my door. But anyway, it's been really nice to roll out of bed and not just have that hour window of, I hope I don't have to see anybody. <laughs> if you're interested, they did give me a 15% off code. I will put it in the description box below. I think this is the best deal that I've ever seen on silk pillowcases. And if you are interested in trying one and seeing if it's something that works for you, all right, let's go on the Sephora website. I want to make sure you guys know that Innisfree is now available on the Sephora website. I will link my Innisfree video. The one con that I had with using the Innisfree products that I tried is I went through them quickly. So I think, I suspect that the brand might be more suited to combination skin, maybe even more, more oily skin, but that's just based on the green tea line. And that's the only line that I've tried. We also now have the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Serum on the Sephora website. And if you guys remember, I talked about that recently and said I hoped it was coming. Not only is it on the website, but they have it set up so that that is the size, the one that I showed you is the size that you get. Uh, you can get three of those for $68 or one for $28. And if you missed it, I will link that video as well. Then we have a couple new products from Peter Thomas Roth that I wanted to talk about. First up is the Retinoid Peptide Serum. This is a little pricey because it is $110 but it kind of does look quite interesting to me. They're saying 10% gram active retinoid. Remember that the limit of retinols, retinoid products is 1%, so it makes sense that you would have a 1% retinoid in that, and then 5% hexapeptide. It looks to me like another one of Peter Thomas Ross super high impact products. That one really has incredible reviews so far. I, I would be very interested in trying this. I feel like if you have enjoyed Sunday Riley's A Plus Serum. This is going to be probably most similar to that, but stronger. And then we have the Lactic Pore Treatment, which is 30% lactic acid complex. Yet again, I'm, I'm telling you, if you remember I said it a long time ago, Peter Thomas Roth makes his products tough guy skincare. He does. 30% lactic acid, but this too has really good reviews. I'm curious about both of these. Have too much skincare right now to be making any more purchases, but comment below if you guys have tried any of these. Again, so far, people seem to be loving these. And finally, finally we have arrived at the holiday launches. So if you are Rouge, this stuff is already available to you. This will be available for everybody very soon. I actually went in store to the holiday preview this past weekend, and I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with quite a few of these sets, so let me talk to you about my favorites. So first up, we have Drunk Elephant's holiday release. This is the Shelf Respect Day Kit. This looks really, really nice. This is $88 with a $124 value. The full size you get in here is the C Firma Day Serum. I have tried that. I had really good results with that, and I think it is formulated really well, assuming they haven't changed it too much since the SkinCeuticals thing. I have to admit, I did try it before that. This also contains a mini size of the Proteini. You get their sunscreen in here, which is a mineral sunscreen. You get a B Hydra, and then you get the D Bronzy Anti-Pollution sun Sunshine Drops. And honestly, that's, let's see, that's 0.27 ounces. That'll probably last you a long time in itself. This is such a well curated set. I know you either love or hate Drunk Elephant. I have gathered this much, but I think this is a really, really nice little set. 
Tatcha's kit is a great value as well. It is the Skincare for Makeup Lovers Dewy Glow Set. This is $65 with a $105 value. This is going to give you the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is a nice mist. I just wouldn't pay full price for it. The Dewy Skin Cream, and then a mini of the incredibly popular Silk Canvas. So if you've been wanting to try it, I would recommend getting it in some kind of a set because I personally didn't love it. I think that it is going to appeal much more to people with combo or oily skin, but it is so hyped that it's hard not to feel like you need to try it. And then also the Violet C Radiance Mask. I tried that one as well. I do like it. Another one that I think is curated extremely well is the Kiehl's set. So Kiehl's has the Bright Delights kit. This gives you the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. That is the half ounce size. It's gonna last you a really long time. I'm not even a quarter through my full size uh, of their oils. These last forever. That was a Cali Girl accent, wasn't it? I don't even know where that came from. I've never even been to California. You get a half ounce size of the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, which is $30 in itself, so $20 more for the rest of this. You get the Calendula Toner, which I personally loved. Almost a full ounce of the Ultra Facial Cream. Fantastic product, and the one that I haven't tried, the Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. This is just a gorgeous set. I personally had really good results with Kiehl's. I'll link my video if you are interested. And then finally, my last top pick here is the First Aid Beauty Kits. One of you had just talked about what a good deal these are, and you are so right. This one is $49 with a $112 value, over 50% off. These are all full sizes, which is absolutely incredible. You can make a full routine off of this kit alone for months. So you get in this 60 facial radiance pads, six ounces of the Ultra Repair Cream, one ounce of the Ultra Repair Serum, two ounces of the face cleanser, and then a half ounce of the Ultra Repair Lip, Care uh, lip Therapy. Wonderful set. There's a couple others in here that I thought were really cute, but they didn't quite appeal to me as much. So for example, we have the Milk Makeup MVP set. This is over a 50% off value as well, $45 for a $109 value. The problem with this set is that I feel like it's not going to appeal to as many people. It's a mix of skincare and makeup. And in addition to that, honestly, I did not have good results with Milk Skincare. I just didn't. They've got the mini watermelon serum in here, the mini cooling water. Uh, I've tried both of those and they're just kind of okay. I mean, honestly, this is, if you're buying this set, I would say buy it more for the makeup. Actually, maybe I should list this higher. The Laneige Hydration Dream Team. This is $39 with a $51 value and it does look kind of nice. You get the full size of the water sleeping mask and then samples of the new cream skin. Well, not new, but new to Sephora. Cream skin toner and moisturizer, the lip sleeping mask, and then the Water Bank Moisture Cream. I tried that brand a while ago and I kind of, I kind of forgot how it was. I feel like that's not the best sign, but maybe, maybe that too is more for combo oily skin. This actually looks really nice too. I should not have skipped over this. The Dr. Jart 7 Day Mask Experiment Kit. This is $39 with a $57 value. This looks really nice. I love Dr. Jart Sheet Mask. It's pricey for what it is though. Seven single masks for $39 is pricey, but are they some of the best masks I've ever tried? Yes. That is everything I have for this particular video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would like me to talk about in future videos. Let me know if you've tried any of these. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.